Good day. Today's topic is mind food. This is spiritual lifting with V. Let me get your soul swole. Today I want to talk about what we feed our minds and how the mind is fed. You have basically three ways. Intent, intention, and intentions. And in this life, we go through various situations which shape and form our intent, intention, and intentions. Sometimes we experience things that will take us to a place to where our intent, intention, and intentions change. We may start out as part of an organization, a group, a relationship, a um, business, whatever you have it, whatever your example would like to be. And you start and you go in with these great, fantastic intentions and these wonderful ideals that are built up upon a dreamscape, if you might say. Um, and what I mean by dreamscape, I mean by like what you have put forth in your mind, like the end goal, the outcome, where you see things going, how you perceive it's going to turn out. A lot of times we may go into it with already a detractatory type of thinking as to where, well, I'm going to give so much attention to it, but I know from previous experience that this may not happen or be accomplished. Well, this is where your intention comes into play. Your intent is to see everything through, but the intention is, well... If it doesn't come through, I gave an effort, I tried. And so, as long as I put forth my best effort, if everyone else did it, it's okay. I know what I did. But we can't really think that way. Because now this starts to change the intentions of the person. Or the intentions of the energy that's placed out there. This intentions begin to take in shape a form of detractory uh, state of mind because you have already counted yourself out. Did you go into the situation with a deep intent of success or love or or seeing yourself reaching the highest apex that you could reach? Or were your intentions just to be in it until it all falls apart and then move on? Well, if the intent originally was to reach the end game, the end goal, under no circumstances, no matter what, you proceeded into the situation with the total, total heart embodiment of love and respect and success, and all these things are focused on your mind, but the intention was to have self-gain at the end of it, and it never really was about whatever, what happens for the total group, the, the well-being of others. Then the intention, the intentions become lesser because the intentions change. Again, if the gain is happening, the gain comes, then either I or the total group, but especially I, and not meaning me myself, but I as whoever is representing the intentional part, um, will play out in a factor of where it may not become successful. And the reason being is that it wasn't a we thing, it was a me thing. And even when, even when dealing with self, you're still dealing between the we and the me. If you're only dealing in the we realm, then, and you're going into a group function, it can have total success. Even if you're going into the group, into any function with the we realm, because it takes two to make something happen. No, no one's successful by themselves. No one created anything by themselves. You didn't birth yourself. Um, your successes don't come from yourself. The job you have didn't come from you. It took someone to hire you. It took someone to love you. It took someone to have your back. It took someone to promote you. You could do it yourself, but it still always takes another entity to allow this to happen whether that be through your higher source, whether that be through the self, even with dealing with yourself, your personal intention may be that you want to be somewhere, but you have to call upon 
the inner strength of yourself, which now turns that into a we thing. This is where a lot of people have trouble because they don't know how to contact the we. They only concede the me. Disregard and get rid of the me. Start being about the we. Change your intentions to a positive intention, an intention of love, and everything doesn't go 100%. There never will be a 100% day. No one will have a 100% day. Everything can go right. You can hit every green light. You can hit the lottery. But I guarantee somewhere in that day, you're going to get a stain on your shirt. You're going to get a phone call or someone's going to do something that may have some sort of negative result or something negative said. There's not going to be a per perfect, perfected day because there's always something, no matter how major or minor. This is just the law of the universe, positive and negative. Those two go together. And the only way to neutralize everything is to allow that to happen, being full of total acceptance. Now, so we already understand that intent must be full forward, and intent must be good, and it must not be done in a selfish manner, because anything manifested inside of a selfish manner, through intention, will only have a disheartening, a negative, and a bad result. Now, your intentions need to be focused on the same. They need to coincide with the intent. Because if your intent is one way and your intentions are another, and this is, brings about a false representation of oneself or one's, um, one's plans. You know, my intent was to do this, but the intentions ended up changing because of self-preservation uh, survival, um, going into an animalistic lower chakra mindset. It will never work because it's too conflicting and eventually this will be exposed. So your intent and your intention have to be riding on the same line. Now your intentions also have to be riding on the same line because at the end game, your total intention, if the success happens, um, the, and, and you move forward, what are your furthering intentions? If they don't consist and continue to consistently go into the form of the original, which is to move forward in love, to move forward in giving, to be honest in word and honest in action, then the final intentions will also falter because this also will be exposed and one will not be able to move forward to the highest level of where they need to get to. For the simple fact that if my intent started out as good, my intentions were well, my, I'm sorry, my intent started out as good, my intention was well, but the intentions turned into a selfish manner and mode, how can this possibly survive? These three things are the same as mind, body, spirit, the sun, moon, and stars. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the heavens, the earth, and the self. All these things have to be continuously connected. So there's no wonder why when things don't work out, if you don't have this total line connection, then there's no way that anything will pass. Now, let's look at this factor. What are you feeding your mind? Are you feeding your mind the illusions that are going through every day that you see that's in front of you, that the, the money is going to be just unaboundful, that as long as I can get to this space or I can get to this place, I can do whatever I want to do to anybody, and as long as it gets me there, I'm okay? Or are you following under the intention of unconditional love, which states that you, no matter what, good or bad, down or high, never wavering and never sidestepping, never forgetting what the original plan was. If we stick to the original plan, and that's to move forward with love, respect, and, and unconditional love, then, and you maintain that, that same intent through the entire process, the beautiful flower will open up and will allow, be allowed to see the earth, which is you, and will be allowed to Bring your life to the fruitfulness you need. We all have intentions to plant seeds. But if we don't 
take, we all have intent to plant the seeds, and you have intentions to water it, but if you forget one, two days, don't put it in the sunlight, don't germinate, don't, don't take care of the plant the way that it should, how could it ever give you fruitful growth? If you abandon early, you'll never know what will be there or what was going to be. So keep your intent, intention, and intentions on the same line. Be honest, be loving, be caring. Move with this vibration throughout the day and the rest of your life. And you will see the unaboundful fruit that will come to you. Sometimes things get misplaced in our life because that's because we came in with a certain intent. And then our intention didn't stick to the original plan, which was the intent. And our intentions became something different. Do what you're supposed to do. And everything will fall in line. If you intend to love, then make that in your intention totally. And then make that your intentions in the end. The only way that we can get to the place that we need to get to, which is moving through this world with a positive vibration, love and energy, is through our intent, intention, and intentions. What are yours? If you've liked this subject matter, and you would like to like me to expound on this subject matter, and you would like to communicate a little bit deeper, you'd like me to do a part two, reach a little bit further into this subject matter, correspond with me. I'm always down for correspondence. And remember, the children are what matter the most. We, they are the future, and we are the past. And at one point, we were the future. So, Let's keep it in mind. What is our intent, intention, and intentions when we're moving through life? If you're having difficulties and negative situations and nothing ever seems like it's working, we need to check our, what our intent, our original intent was, what the intention has become, and what our intentions will be. People, keep it on a positive vibe every day. Move through life with the intent of love, prosperity, and peace. Motivate to yourself to a higher level. And if you have that one person or that, that one group that really has these great intent, intention and intentions for you, shell out the same back to them. It's all about reciprocation. In life, if we lose out or something doesn't work, we really have to question, what was our true intent? Did we keep our intention on that line? And in our intentions in the end, were they selfish or were they for the greater good? Peace. This is V with spiritual lifting. Let me get your soul swole.